Hey, it's Austin. I just wanted to give a quick review of stuff that I've just got from a new supplier that I found. And I guess I'll start off with the Mitsubishi center sections, which I've been paying $60 a core beforehand. But now that I can buy new ones, there isn't really much point in buying a core because I have so many leftover compressor housings. Now these actually have a 8mm by 1.25 thread pitch for the oil feed and I think they're machined out for a 61 or 60mm exducer which I bought these just so I'd have something to work with and they're brand new and you, they use genuine kits and everything so it's really nice. So that's one of the things that I bought. I bought 20 of those and I'm willing to sell them. So uh, the biggest part about this order is this order actually, if these people are smart that are building turbos, it turns them from being competitors into our customers. So it's huge for us and it could be huge for anyone else who's trying or was trying to compete with us. And uh, so that's the big, biggest benefit. All right, now here's a whole set bearing housing that I got. Now I've got, I got the GT35R cartridges. So uh, you can put these inside these eBay units if they still make them like this. I picked up one GT35R turbine shaft. Sorry, pre-balanced, ready to install. Of course, some of some of you guys want to have your turbos rotor balanced. I've had some companies like uh, Performance Technique out of uh, California, I sent them a ball bearing turbo to balance and they did it as like a component balance style, which I guess was fine. I actually, all I've ever been told is that you need to do it as a rotor balance, but I mean, I, I'm pretty sure those guys know their stuff out there because they claim they have a fourteen or $4.5 million inventory, so I'm kind of taking their word for it. Uh, also, another thing is I bought these pieces. That allows you to put a ball bearing cartridge on a TO4E or TO4B compressor cover. And then they also sell the regular GT35R backplates to install on cartridges as well and I've picked up a few of those. I guess that's about it. I uh, also picked up some GT35 or GT30 cartridges or just bearing housings. They're just bare. I picked up some that were complete and some bare so I could just make whatever I'd want. Uh, I tried to pick up some ball bearing kits, but they didn't have any in stock. But uh, here's a picture of, or here's a video of a ball bearing. Excuse the lint. <laughs> a what a ball bearing, you know, bearing looks like with the dual ball bearing piece. So hopefully, I'll pick up some kits in my next order and. Trying to think if there's anything else that I bought that I could show you. But I think that's about it. <laughs> so I'm planning on buying a lot more from these companies. Or, you know, hopefully I'll pick up some really good stuff and find some more good stuff for people to buy. And if you're a shop, you need to contact me to let, let you know or let me know what I can offer you. So, uh, yeah, just get up with me if you're a shop and we'll talk about things.